Hi, I'm Christy from the YMCA, and today I'm going to do the Crater Experiment with you, which is going to demonstrate Newton's Second Law. Now, Newton's Second Law of Motion is a law that tells us how force can be related to an object's mass and how it's dependent on acceleration. Now, today we're just going to assume acceleration is equal to gravity. So if you remember last week, we talked about gravity and how every object has a gravitational pull. Now, objects of different mass can have different force due to that pull. So if you think about objects of different mass, you think of something heavy like an elephant, when it drops from the sky, it's going to have a different force than something light like a feather. So let's demonstrate that today. What we're going to need is we're going to need two round objects that are about the same size but different masses. So for example, I have a baseball, and then I also made a mock baseball out of newspaper and tape. And so they are about the same size, they're both round, and they'll fall really well. Now we don't want anything not round because we want it to fall straight down and not catch any other forces like friction or air force. Now what else we need is we need a bowl or a tub. I have a see-through bowl, which is going to be helpful. And I have it filled to the, in the bottom with powder. Now I'm using powdered sugar, but you can also use flour or cornstarch or even dirt really. Just anything that you can make a crater in. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to layer it on the bottom so that it's about an even layer. So you can kind of shake around your tub and set it down real flat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take both our objects. So we're looking at what force they're making. And that again is going to be equal to mass times acceleration according to Newton's law. So if we have our acceleration of gravity where they're both being pulled down by the gravitational force, they should hit the powder at the same time. But because they have different masses, they should have different forces. So let's see if we can see that when we drop our objects. So I'm going to take both my objects and drop them from about the same height over my bowl. Ready? And my baseball bounced out, but that's okay. We can still see the craters. Now, let me pull this up close to you. You can see that I had a lot of powder on the baseball side, and it might be clear why from up here. So you can see here is where my baseball hit, and that made a huge crater whereas my fake baseball hit over here. And you can definitely see a crater, but it's not as deep. And that's because the mass is less. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope you can make your own craters with different objects. If you want to share them with us, you can use the hashtag GWRYMCA STEAM on social media. You can also comment in the comments below or use that hashtag to ask us any questions.